is going on guys welcome back to the channel so if you follow us you know we just went uh, stage two with the bm3 and well boot mode three whatever you want to call it so we're going to do a zero to 60 run and see what kind of numbers we get and then after that i'm going to do the transmission tune and do another zero to 60 run but first my wife told me her coolant light came on on the range rover so i'm going to top this off real quick it is a little low i don't know if you can see down there it's below the minimum No, the video has not been sponsored by Peak. <laughs> Looks like they're harvesting some corn. All right, do the video. <laughs> so when, uh, when you do go stage two, part of it, they say that it calibrates the sport displays. Uh, we're going to run it. I'm not going to say it's accurate. Uh, I don't think it is 100% accurate. The best way to do it is taking it to a dyno. But we're just going to run it, just see what kind of numbers we get with this. Also, the last time we ran the Draggy Performance Reader, we got a 5.2, 0 to 60, when we upgraded the intake. Now, uh, at the track, it said I would have ran a 4.97. So, we're going to run a 0 to 60 now after the Stage 2 tune. <clears throat> we're going to run it three times, and then we're going to go back and we're going to do the transmission tune. Now, before we run any numbers with the transmission tune, we're gonna have to run it for, some people say eight miles, uh, some people have told me 60 miles before you uh, put any strain on the motor. Uh, so I'm gonna do, I'm gonna play it safe and run the car for 60 miles before we do any zero to 60 runs. So like I said, we're gonna do three runs and then we'll show you the best results we get. Holy crap. <laughs> Verified and it's 4.94 and then 4.69 for the track. Quarter mile. Nice. Hey, bud. Ready? So the first one we did was 4.97. Right. Second was 4.94, and then our third one was the 4.92, and that would be 4.66 at the track. That's not bad. I mean, I'm I'm happy with those numbers. This I don't I don't know how accurate it is. I'm not, <laughs> I wouldn't know the percentage of the accuracy on it, but it was the power was right below the 480. So I'm going to say 400 horsepower. Around there. I'd, around there. I'd be happy with it, but the only way to find out is taking it to the dyno. All right, so let's head back and use the boot mode transmission tune. It's gonna glare. Is it right. right there? Yeah. All right. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and log in. And now that I'm logged in, I have to go back and start the agent. All right, we're connected, it's up. Go back here and then under menu, Go down here to transmission. The upgraded eight speed automatic. Stock eight speed automatic. Oh, that's okay. That's to revert back to stock. All right. Flash, flash. All right, success, we're done. So I'm not gonna make you wait and drive around with us for 60 miles. So we'll be right back. All right, so we just did the transmission tune. We're heading over to our spot to do another zero to 60 and see what kind of numbers we get with this. We got our draggy unit set up. If you guys are interested in a draggy, I'll have a link in the description below, along with links to mods that we done to our car, and also a link to our shop, our thick garage shop. So we're almost at 17,000 subscribers. Thank you guys. We're about, what, how many away, Evan? 100 away. 100 away. Well, a little under 100, but we're just gonna round up for purposes of. Yeah. Cause it's, it's, go, it's going up, it's going down. We don't know the accurate amount right now. You know, I was looking at our analytics and 90% of the people that watch our videos aren't even subscribed. Do you believe that? That's crazy. So guys, please subscribe. It's free. Now smash that like button if you're ready to see the zero to 60. Four point nine six. 
so we did three runs. The best run we did, Evan has the graph. 4.79 or a 4.57 at the track. Not too bad. I'm happy with it. It's improvement from the transmission tune definitely improved the numbers. So I highly recommend the boot mode three stage two tune. I love it. I love that there's no lag. When you hit that gas, it goes. I like how rev matches when you're downshifting. You can definitely feel the difference. Um, I didn't. I had a custom stage one tune, and then I went to stage two. I didn't use the boot mode three stage one tune. Um, I just had a custom one. If you guys follow us, if you're subscribed to us, you probably saw that in a dyno video I did. So huge difference, huge improvement. Uh, as far as I can feel it in the car, the numbers did Im improve. Basically, if we went to a track, we'd be at 4.57. Yeah, yeah 4.57, I think it was. So highly recommended. If you guys are looking to go stage two, do it. There's some things that you need to get done. Make sure you got an intercooler and a high flow or a catless downpipe before you do it. And good luck with it. I, I noticed a huge difference. Yeah, okay. Just riding passenger, I noticed a huge difference. Come on, old man. So hope you guys enjoyed that video. Please smack that like button if you did. And also, if you're not subscribed, please do us a huge favor and subscribe. Get our numbers up right now. Most of you guys not watching this video, like I said earlier, 90% of you are not subscribed. It's Get us free. to 17,000. We can do it. Yep. Get us 17. It's only 100 to go. 17,000. Help us out. Subscribe, and we will see you in the next video.